deep below, you will find geodes. So let's add those to our world gen. Alright, we find ourselves back in the challenge once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom geodes to our world generation. Now, those have been, I'm not sure, was it 118 or 119? I think they were added in 118, right? Uh, where, you know, where basically all of the amethyst and stuff like that spawn. Those are geodes. And you can actually very, very easily add some of your own to the world generation. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Now, I will be copying over basically both of the fields that we're going to need, both the configured feature and the place feature. However, there is so many different things that you can change. They are both the blocks as well as lots of different numbers that you can change. And of course, all of the code, as always, is going to be available to you in the description below. GitHub repository and individual gist as well. This is the Tanzanite Geode, actually. There you go. So Tanzanite Geode right here, registry entry of configured feature of Geode feature config and question mark. And this one in this case is as you can see, feature geode, and then it has a geode feature config here, as well as a geo layer config. This is actually the one that is most important to us because this actually contains all of these different things. The filling provider, the inner layer, alternate inner layer, a middle layer, an outer layer, and inner blocks cannot replace an invalid blocks here as well. So very crazy things indeed. And the general idea here is that I've just chosen a few of them, right? So the air here is actually normal for the normal geode. But in theory, you could also fill your geode with something else, right? So you could, in theory, fill it with like gold or something like that. And then you have, I just have some deep slate, tanzanite ore here is, would be the budding amethyst replacement. And then the tanzanite block is going to quote unquote grow on the tanzanite ore. So that's very interesting. There's also some dirt and then emerald blocks just because, uh, why why not, right? Like it's just, uh, it's just a little bit of fun actually. And then there's crazy amounts of things that you can change here, as you can see, right? You can change the thickness here of the inner layer, the outer layer. You can change the crackedness, right? So it, should it be cracked, should it not be cracked, like so that it should be open or not? There's an insane amount of things that you can do here. I just highly recommend playing around with this uh, for a long time if you want to add a geode and then, I mean, just playing around with it and seeing what you can find here. When it comes to the placed feature, uh, pretty much the same idea. It is not that complicated, right? When you, you see we're just using the configure feature here, then we have a rarity placement of 42 because, I mean, why not? Uh, so this would should then, in theory, uh, show up every 42 chunks or so, I believe. Uh, square placement and biome placement are just normal things that we've basically uh, always need. And then here is the height range placement modifier, which is going to spawn this between 60 and 50. So that is pretty much all that we need here. Now we're just going to add this to our mod ore generation because this is actually also an underground ore. Uh, it's kind of weird that it's in the same step, but it is in the same step. We're just going to make this found in the overworld and we're just going to change this to geode. And that is literally it. That is all that we need to do. It is extremely straightforward. But regardless of that, I mean, extremely straightforward and then also <laughs> a lot of stuff that we can change here. But regardless of that, you have the blueprint right here. Just change it around and then you can see uh, pretty awesome stuff indeed. So now let's go into the game, make a new world and see our custom geode in action. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft and let's just see if we can find one of our custom geos and i've already spotted some emerald blocks maybe this is already it and there we go we already got one absolutely amazing so these would be in theory right the tanzanite ore here would in theory be the budding amethyst where the amethyst grows out of and then you can see the blocks of tanzanite always spawn adjacent to one of these ore blocks very interesting indeed and you can see basically you know the dirt where it's placed the deep slate where it's placed and you can also see you know from the outside right the uh, the emerald blocks which that would definitely like you should definitely not use this in your mod that would be uh, extremely overpowered because that many uh, blocks of emerald and they spawn quite often like they're not going to be that uh, like crazily um like you can see there's another one so it's not going to be that crazily rare see there's another one so uh, yeah they do spawn quite aggressively in this case but as always it is just about the changes of the numbers basically to well make them spawn a little bit differently and then you're gonna have i mean some pretty cool custom geodes in your mod absolutely amazing and actually not that crazy right but that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you all in the next tutorial so yeah